that boat soon, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Uh, so we went to a town called Waterville and we got our groceries there and we were only one dollar over budget was which was amazing and uh, we got all our groceries for the week so we're super pumped to hit the river. Dude, the ocean. I filmed out day two Megan. Feeling pretty good. I did to get on the mighty Machias River today. ice on the banks yeah you may actually be uh, camping on snow because there's a lot of snow left in the woods right now right now we are on our way to the machias river we're almost there we're gonna be on the first lake ever. we were originally supposed to be on the third machias lake but we're going to the first one. yeah Oliver, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm sitting princess right now. Sitting, sitting in front seat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're going to let Mason know when you see a rock? Maybe. <laughs> I felt the rocks right away. I'm gonna run it again. Dude, I'm running it again. Yeah, run it again.
Today we ran our second class three rapid. In order to scout, we had to get out and um, hop over a highway, over a bridge. This is Airline Rapids. This is our biggest rapid of the trip so far. It's about 500 meters long. Uh, so we're, do we're doing it in a couple stages, two stages at least. We're just down the line right now. A um, couple big rocks to watch out for. But otherwise, I think it's gonna be a great rapid. We just ran Airline Rapids upstream we all tried to go into the river left eddy but we didn't really make it so we all kind of just ride and run the rest of the river and now we're here and we've traveled around eight kilometers so far of the river had Emily and Alyssa go down first and then me and Sam were following and all we see is just a big bright yellow rope. I immediately knew we need to start paddling a little bit harder so we started going and going. Me and Sam we actually hit a decent line it wasn't that bad but our boat kept filling up with waves so halfway through the rapid we were like up to here in water still cut still canoeing down the rapid trying to get to the netty and then we hit one more wave and ended up flipping in so I swam to shore, I threw a couple paddles. A little bit of carnage, but that's, uh, that's okay. Right now? Where <sighs> all of our stuff was just going downstream. Do you want me to run my line? Canoe, canoe, canoe! One, two, three, yeah. You and me, we'll have a little chat later. Hey, at least we got the cooler. As long as the beef jerky's good, I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna pull this boat up with my bare hands. Please be nice. Please be nice. Don't you go anywhere. Yeah. Be gone. Good boy. One, two. And you, you little turkey, you're gonna come over here. Yes, you are. It was Megan met me downstream. We fist bumped and then uh, made sure we had all of our stuff. And we made it back up river to check on everybody else, making sure everyone was okay. Third gear, third gear, third gear. Keep her going, keep her going, keep her going. You can easily run this on the left. You just have to make sure you're really hugging the shoreline. Relax. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, 
might be it might have to be that thick. I don't know, man. Um, we'll go. That was all by myself. <laughs> All right, so we are here just under uh, Lower Homes. Uh, this is a class three, it's a tricky class three, and I think we're deciding to portage it. The reason for that is just up there, beyond that log, we're gonna be starting on Far River Left, and it's a hell of a ferry to get over to the right side here. And that log is in a really uncomfortable spot. If you don't ferry hard enough, you're either gonna set up, end up on the other island, or on the other side of the island that we uh, are unable to scout, or you end up right under the log, which is just bad news all around. So we're gonna portage this one. Sucks, but what can you do? We're, uh, we're being safe. Actually, a pretty tricky portage. Uh, nobody's been on these trails for a long time. Disappointing that we didn't get to run this, but got to make the safest uh, decision. And I'm glad that we all agreed that this was the best way to go. So we only portage today, so it was kind of physically exerting for the whole group. We didn't really get to run much white water, but it was chill in the flat sections. Lots of sun. Uh, just seeing how well we work as a group. Kind of sad, we're taking out tomorrow morning. We're gonna leave camp probably around six or seven uh, and just try and get to the takeout. We have about 18 kilometers to go tomorrow morning. Uh, just read and run rapid, so it shouldn't be too bad. We're a bit more slow moving than normal this morning because we're just not ready to go. Before the trip, we were preparing for whatever weather was coming our way. Uh, we expected maybe a little bit of rain, but we had no rain. It's been super sunny every single day at most. It's been a little bit cloudy, and it's been such an amazing trip. Where are we guys? Take out! Take out! Final X, baby! Yeah.